Hey guys, we got some pretty amazing new details here connected to this alleged Comet 3i Atlas. It just gets crazier and crazier with this thing. And this is all hard data. The astronomers over there at spaceweather.com saying that they used a blue filter. And when you do this on something that is rich in CO2, it will bring out a blue hue. And if there's a tail there, they can find it. They've done this before on past comets. So they've done that. And as you can see, they have discovered there's a tail. But there's one huge characteristic about this that is completely abnormal. It's pointing toward the sun. This is not what comets do. They go on to explain that, that this is one of the oddest things they've ever seen. And you can see it down here in the right-hand corner and up in the top center. Now, comets or objects that have a lot of carbon dioxide have blue tails because of the photochemistry. The solar radiation breaks the CO2 in the CO, which emits blue light. Is this what's happening with Atlas? Well, the jury's still out. Um, they found abundance, an abundance of CO2, but not much CO. So that doesn't match. Another weird thing, and stranger still, the blue tail points toward the sun normally. Comet tails point away from the sun because gas and dust is pushed back by the solar wind and by all the radiation pressure. Three eyes tail does the opposite. If this is a comet, it is the strangest comet to ever be seen in history. It's larger, faster, more mysterious, giving off an artificial light source, metallic in nature, high levels of nickel, artificial nickel as they stated. And now this, the tail is facing the wrong way. You can't make this up. I mean, this is crazy. As it gets closer, these images are going to make it more clear of, of what this is. But again, remember, it's going to be hiding behind the sun after it passes Mars. And it's not going to be to the point you see on the right of the screen till we catch a glimpse of it in the sky again when it comes out on the other side of the sun. Now, with Venus crossing behind the sun, this can also create some crazy effect in the sky in the coming months. A conjunction, if you will, in the heavens that create a brightened sun or a crazy effect in the sky. Regardless, with this thing having a tail pointing the wrong way, it raises a ton of questions. And we're just going to have to see what every day brings from here. But this is the latest. Pretty shocking that the tail is facing the opposite direction. I'll leave links. Join me for the live streams going live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern, talking about this and a whole lot more in greater detail. Eyes to the sky, y'all.